Greg here with Underground Graphics. Uh, today we're going to show you and install our Retro Hockey Full Kit. Uh, I'm sure you've seen this kit. It's very popular. It goes back to the old Broncos. There's a couple others doing something uh, very similar. Um, they're all going to look pretty close. Um, so what, what we're going to do here, this is the, the kit here, but again, it's the kit that's going to come over the hood, come down the side, run all the way to the back, um, solid black with a, I think it's a 3 8 inch pinstripe is what we ended up uh, using for this. Um, anyway, we wanted to make this kit as easy as possible uh, to install at a good price point, good vinyl as always. We're going to be using 3M uh, 2080 matte black on this, air mask vinyl. Uh, it's going to be a dry install, uh, very little cutting, very little trimming. Um, anyway, we'll get started and uh, yeah, I think you guys are going to Love this. So this is pretty much uh, the kit you're going to be getting. We've got um, two side pieces. I'm going to demonstrate one, which is the uh, angled version. Uh, one, which is the smooth uh, version that's kind of curved to kind of match the hood. Um, anyway, again, 3M. It, it will be with air mask. Easy to install. Uh, the tools you're going to need. Uh, I've got here some masking tape, squeegee, uh, small razor, scissors, microfibers. Uh, we use that alcohol water mix to clean. Make sure that paint is clean, uh, no debris, no dust, no nothing. Try to do this indoors. We want to keep that air temp in the 70s if possible. Um, all right, let's get started. All right, so as we're getting started, I want to show you a few things. Uh, the first piece we're going to do is our hood piece. Um, I've got some benches down here um, to stand up on to get up on the hood. Um, we've got this hood piece. It is cut to fit. And what you're going to notice are these, these squares right here. Um, those are going to match up in the in, into the corners of where that that hood, hood rise is, <clears throat> and um, with those taped down, make sure there's no slack. When to tape, you know, we're going to do that hinge method on that hood. Make sure there's no slack in this. This is all smooth. If you want to, if you want to make some marks like I've done here, we're going to know that's coming down straight. We do want to make sure that we get into this dip here in the hood, and again, tape everything up first. Um, you can see I've got a piece of tape here. I want to make sure this is going to match up with my side piece. What we've done on these side pieces is I've given you a mark here that's going to go right in the middle of that body line, uh, front and back. And that's going to work for each section of the sides. Um, you've got some room to play with this front and back if you need to, to match the hood. That's why we want to do the hood piece first. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this started, put the camera back up on the tripod, and uh, we'll get going. All right. So once I've got these pieces taped in the corners, again, I like to kind of tear that tape so I still have that marker on there. I'm not sure if you can see that. That was that corner piece with the piece of masking tape on it. So I know when I come back down, I'm in that same spot. I got those pieces taped up there like I showed you earlier. These hoods are always kind of awkward, so forgive me. This may not be the prettiest install. And again, this vinyl is very forgiving. It is a dry install. Not need to do this wet. I do want to make sure this lines up back where I was. I'm just going to light, lay that real light and start working that out. Overlapping strokes. Just like so get to the edge of that that rise. And now I'm going to down and this you may want to go light you may have to work a little bit of that vinyl with some heat and I'm coming right up on that marker that I left with that tape Go ahead and do the. I guess I can put the down. 
I want to kind of work out. There's a little bit of area here where I've got some some work to do. We kind of work that out. center part now but I want to work on that pinstripe um, if we have to we can pull that stripe up lay that back down just have to follow that you know that guide of, of where you were you can do that with a with a pen a, you know piece of tape here on that edge again and just lay that pinstripe extra you know separately if you have to this is the first time we've done this so we're going to kind of learn along with you how this is going to install I'm going to go ahead and work on that other side it goes down any differently. I did that other side, did not have a problem with it. I'm going to show you guys how I did that. So I come back to that flat spot, stop at the ridge of that. I'm going to go ahead and work this side down, let this one lay in smooth. There we go. And then start working this out from here. It's going to have to be an even. Just kind of start pushing that that vinyl out. You can go to the hard side, that squeegee. You're working that vinyl out towards the front of the vehicle. There we go. have about a quarter inch overlap onto the, the fender 
leave that there. We can pop the hood, we can roll that in, but I want that there to get my lineup for the fender stripe. Get any little imperfections, come back with the soft side of that squeegee or even your. show you guys real quick what that looks like so again here's a close-up how that stripe lays it's the same on the other side but this is that area here when we have that mask on that we really want to kind of get this flat spot on here down first get this edge and it kind of worked out that excess here again it's wrapped vinyl it's air release it's really easy to do um, call me if any questions but again I'm doing this video so you guys know how quick we can do this Left a little bit overlap here. We can go back, we can tuck that, but I want this here so I can get this piece lined up. As you can see, I'm about, eh, about a quarter inch off so I can slide this back as I need um, to, make, to make that fit. All right, so remember, now that I've got this hood on, I left a little bit extra on this top fender. We can always tuck that back. Um, it's really just there for our lineup. Once it gets this in place, we're gonna pull that back, we're gonna peel that up, we're gonna tuck that down. When we're all done, we can pop the hood and we can tuck those edges. But for right now, I wanna go back and show you Leave these lines on here. That's gonna meet up, meet up at the, the middle of that line in the body, that body line. Um, I'm gonna pull this up. I've got these kind of, I mean, again, you've got a little bit of play, about a quarter inch that, to a half inch. Um, as long as you keep those lines centered, you can see where these are gonna match up on that fender. And I think that's a bit right, that's it right there. And once you tape it, you can kind of go back and just kind of roll your hand over there and see where that falls. Looks like I need to come, there we go. That's gonna hit right there. All right, now that that's there, Again, there's a couple ways to, to do this. There's a hinge method. I don't want to hinge on this. I want this to go down evenly. So I'm going to tape this top and work top down on this. I want to make sure that this top piece lines up. So now that that's taped, I am going to go ahead and tuck this piece down in there, which is just Use the top edge of that. I'm just wanting to lift this up so I can really just tuck it back down so it's not gripping the paint. There we go. And again, check, check, double check, keep checking, make sure this is where you want it. Once it's on, it's on. I'm gonna come just a little bit forward. I think I'm right there. I think we're there. Where am I 
scissors up on top. All right. And this really is, this is probably the hardest part of this, of this install. And just making sure that lines up. So take your time, measure twice, apply once. And if you want, just kind of go light with it. That way you can pull that back up if you need to. And see where that lays as you roll that edge over. I'm still just a little bit off. I'm going to give it a little pull. Again, this also is pliable, it will stretch. that tension. See where I'm at with those lines. Look, I'm still there. I'm still there in the back. So here, lightly hold that up. Make sure we get, I want to make sure we get that vinyl into that crease and we don't we don't stretch it on it See, I'm kind of working that in with my thumb. Off. All right, I'm going to show you again up close what this looks like. All right, so here's the top of this again. Just kind of want to show you. You see how those edges line up? It's just a little maneuvering to get that right where you want it um, if you want to get a little bit more edge on that we could have pulled this up just a hair but again that's going to tuck just fine once that's in there we just tuck that right in once our vinyl is all down and all applied we want to go back with that heat gun um, recommend we post heat this to 180 to 200. Um, I've always been had the mindset as long as there's no serious stress on it You don't have to do that, but we do recommend it um, Again same thing in here just so this doesn't come up uh, Although it really shouldn't be an issue. We very rarely ever see that be a problem I'm gonna go ahead put this camera back on the tripod finish this side up um, I'll show you some photos and video of this when it's finished um, Again, if you guys have any questions, just give us a shout uh, be more than happy to talk you through this and uh, really hope this video helps. All right, we left off. We got our hood done. We got our front fender done. Now we're going to go ahead and knock out these doors, that rear fender. I'm going to kind of just walk through as we do this. Um, you know, again, there's not a lot of trimming on this, but I've got some excess here. I'm going to trim that just inside that door line so I can tuck that back into that fender. But that's not cutting on the paint. It's just cutting that excess off through that door hinge. So we can open that up. And again, this is where that heat gun comes in. To 
soften that film and let you really roll that in a little bit easier than I'm just doing with my finger. This kit will likely be on here for a day or so. We'll take it off and we'll be on to our next kit for y'all. any mask that has the imperfections in it like this it's not a big deal it's just in the mask it's not going to affect the install or how that lays on this what you want to do is just make sure we're lined up with the other stripe you really don't even need this front uh, marker on there I'm actually going to take that off and just line up from the rear I can actually line it better with the stripe that I came with that centerpiece. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. Like just like that. So I know that now that this stripe is lined up, that's exactly where I want it. And that you do not want to move here. Just check and make sure that that's. You don't want it to dip or, or, or come up to make sure that's nice and snug. Get your tape, tape, and then start from one side and work up back to the other. Again, I like that tape method where I can break that tape. I use that tape as my lineup. Lots of different ways to do this. It's just my preferred way. I'm going to come back and just kind of lightly tack this. Because remember, I want to get that seam in there first. Now that that's in there, now I'll go back. Work the rest of that out. Again, up here, now that we already have some vinyl there, we don't need that tape. Tuck, it doesn't stick to the suspender on top. We need to pull that back. And we can go back to tuck that. And again, that D gun 
will help soften that up. I got a little bit of a wrinkle there. I'm going to use a heat gun to get that out. All right, so as I got the other side finished up, I did notice as I was getting that stripe down, went back with some heat, that there was some small air bubbles coming up, just small things. You do want to go back. I do recommend that for this kit. Um, and I think it is due to that air channel in there that we're kind of getting our finger in there to push that down to get that out. Um, just go back. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer. We do recommend a heat gun. You do want to get that pretty hot. If you don't do it and you put it outside in the sun, what you're going to see or little spots that start to come up. You can take that soft squeegee or a microfiber and kind of push down lightly. If you do it hot, you have a chance on putting the adhesive imprint in that vinyl, which you don't want to do. So again, that's why you want to do this indoors when it's cool. We can heat that up, you know, get that nice and warm, let that cool off. I mean, you can do this and, 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 and you'll see where those are going to appear or, or if they're going to come up when they do. Take the heat away, let that cool for a minute, go back with that squeegee or, 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 or with your thumb or your finger to push that back down. Again, I've gone back over the whole vehicle. Um, I just wanted to, and, you know, again, point out how important that is to do. We try to make these kits as easy as we can for the do-it-yourselfer. Um, some of these kits, such as this, we always, we're, all, we're gonna always say, get someone that knows what they're doing to put these on. Hire a professional. I can't change a plumber, or I can't do anything like that in the house. I hire someone to do that. Um, but again, um, if you're the type that wants to try this, it's definitely doable. Um, this kit comes as a, what is it, three, six, seven, eight, a nine piece kit. Should you mess up a piece, we can ship out a new piece to that. Um, again, I would say this is a moderate uh, kit to install. Obviously there's easier to do and there's obviously a lot more difficult to do. Um, but if you want to try it, give us a call, watch the video. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a, uh, get some photos, give you a quick walk around. Again, this side has the curved side, the other side is the angle side. I think I like the angle side better, um, but uh, let me know what you think. Make some posts in the comments, uh, subscribe to our channel, um, spread the word, and uh, yeah, let us know what you think of these kits. All right, so here's the finished walk around. Again, this is what we're gonna be calling the uh, retro hockey style full kit. We will offer this kit without the hood piece where it just stops up here at this fender area and probably a few variations of that as well. Um, I do like that kind of following that center line. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about that, uh, but it does, it works very well. It gives a little bit of paint above the handles uh, doesn't touch the handles. I'm not a big fan of going around those handles with that kit going low on those on those doors like that It just turned out pretty good. Um, that hood line follows the back of the hood. It follows the trim or that, that edge along that hood bump and then here you see that that angled fender side Again, let us know what you think. These will be up on the site. Shoot us an email if you have any questions. All right, thank you.